is Heather and welcome to my 15 minute standing ab workout on the vibrating plate. Today I'm using an eight pound weight. You can go a little heavier, you can go a little lighter, whatever you choose. You don't have to use anything at all. I'm setting my plate for mode two and I'm gonna set it for 15 minutes. So let's hop on and get started. And we are going to start by taking some deep breaths in. So I'm gonna slip my weight onto my right side, take a deep breath in, roll my shoulders up and back. And other side, breathe in, cleansing breaths, wake up our bodies, get ready for this great workout that I've created. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. We're gonna start by holding our weight right at our chest. You can put it as close as you want. I have my microphone so I can't have it that close. And just kind of cradle it. And we're gonna start with some good morning. So you can keep your legs a little wider than shoulder width. you may feel a little bit in your back as well that is very good because we want to strengthen that whole core area and that includes your back so as we get older a lot of people have back pain and that's because your back is overcompensating for your abs being weak so we want to strengthen those abs at the same time we also want to strengthen our back and this helps to not have pain as we get older it helps prevent injuries especially while we're exercising and lifting and doing things um, that are a little more strenuous. So we're just gonna stick with this, get nice and warm. If you want, if it feels good to you, you can keep your legs straight. If you feel like you get a little bit of a different sensation when you do that, it's a little bit more difficult. And again, we're vibrating this entire time. So doing these exercises and adding the weight on top of that, we are really increasing our efficiency with our workout and getting a little bang for our buck here. So keep going, enjoy the burn, you're welcome. I feel like this is where you make change when you're doing lots of reps with these kinds of exercises. And as you feel comfortable, if you want to increase, you can but you can technically do this workout without any weights. I just find that when you have even something small, it just does make a big difference. And we really wanna challenge ourselves. That's the main thing. You kind of see, like you start adding weights to any kind of workout, how that changes the way your body looks. And that's what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to do a lot of things here. Um, and making that change is also really important. So keep going, getting stronger. We're gonna do two and one. So we're gonna do a little easy transition. We're gonna hold our weight on the sides. We're just gonna go side to side, side to side. I want your hips facing me. So that's important that they stay where they are. And then I want you to just really feel those obliques kick an eye, okay? We can go, as you feel comfortable and as you have really good form, so when I say good form, I want those uh, back tall, I want your abs tight, and everything facing forward, all that's moving is your waist, okay? And once you feel good with that, and again, you can bend your knees a little more, it makes you feel more secure on the vibrating plate, and we're gonna go a little faster. So, Fast moves, you really start to feel that burn, also getting a little bit of cardio. So enjoy this moment and kind of relax into it. You know, think about something that is exciting to you. Just think about what you're doing for your body right now and how good this is gonna look, right? We're burning calories. So keep it going. Things. We're going to do four, three, two, one. We're going to pulse it. One, two, other side. One, two. We're going to stay in that little one, two for a little while. One, two gives it a little oomph. If it starts to 
feel too much, you can go back to single because I feel like you could get a little bit of a cramp doing this for too long, but we're just gonna do a few more. I'm not gonna hang up here too, too long. We're gonna do two and one. Good job. Now we're going to go just hang our weight off to the side. Put your left hand behind your ear. Micro bend those knees, abs tight, back straight. We're gonna go down, zip it up. You're gonna feel it right here on that side. Down, up, down, up. We're gonna go three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're gonna hold it here. We're gonna pulse it for sixteen. One, two, three. These are really small little pulses. Six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Try to keep the weight evenly through the balls of your feet and the back. So just don't put more weight in the heels versus just kind of keep everything kind of even keeled. Now we're gonna put our right hand behind our ear. Again, micro bend the knees. We're gonna go down, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're gonna pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. We are going to switch and we're gonna do what we call like, a, I think we call it like a lumberjack. We're gonna put, kind of go off to a, a diagonal and so we're gonna keep our weight off that diagonal and we're gonna use our abs really tight to push it up to that corner. If you look at my heel, my heel does come up when I do that. So down, we go down a little bit lower and then up, we're gonna do it for eight. So six more, five, four, Our feet are on the plates <laughs> and ready to go. So we're going to do eight, seven, six, so right across that abdominal area, four, three, two, and one. We're going to go a switch and we're going to do it again. One more set on each side. Here we go. For eight, Seven, kind of fun. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. I got like a whole body burn doing this, um, which I like. I feel like when we do like anything on the plate, I'm telling you, it's just very efficient. We're doing so much, but yeah, we're just focusing on these abs today, which is awesome. Six, seven, and eight. Good job. We are going to just kind of re-establish ourselves here. Shoulders up and back. Hold that weight to your chest again. We're going to do what I call rainbows. So we're going to crunch over to one side, and then the other side. And so it's just like little half rainbow. And again, evenly distribute your weight in your feet, so we're nice and balanced and really concentrating on these abs. So this particular movement, we're working kind of the upper abs, but also the obliques, but just feels very burning. <laughs> so if you have to take any breaks, that is perfectly fine, because it does sometimes feel like you're getting like a little punched in the gut here, but 
we are working hard and that's what this is all about. So try to stay with it if you can. You know, take a water break if you need to. But keep going. So we're gonna change it in four, three, two, and one. So this time we're gonna go, we're gonna work our lower and upper abs by doing a little bit of a concentrated movement. This would be a little bit slower. So we're gonna put our arms up. So you can hold the weight like almost like a cradle and then pull it in. And when you're crunching in, you're actually scooping that lower abdominal area and then releasing. So everything's just getting pulled in. And it reminds me of like those weight machines that they have at the gym where you're I mean the weights on your ankles and the weights on your arms. I don't know if you're familiar with that one. This is almost that kind of um, movement where you really want to crunch your abs in. And that's why we're doing this a little bit slower because we really want to feel that. This is very strengthening right here, this work, this movement. And there's a lot of force with this weight. So we're going up. We're bringing it in all together. Up and tightening those abs as tight, 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 tight as you can make it. So think about even when you're doing your crunches on the ground, how you're making that tight movement with that lower. This is probably really good, honestly, for like pelvic floor as well. And so think of it that way. That's your scooping and releasing, tightening all in and releasing. Okay, I think you got it now. <laughs> so now we can get into it. Now that we know what we're doing. We have our goal, and that is to strengthen that upper and lower abdominal area. Building that strength, getting that tone. This is going to look so good, you guys. I'm definitely getting a bit of a sweaty brow here, but that is good. That is the point. So keep going. Again, when we do more repetitions with these movements, I just feel like you just feel it so much more. That cardio, a little extra burn, get that heart rate up. You see those calories burning. So we're gonna do four, three, two, and one. Good job. So for this one, we are going to do a little balancing work. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up and bring that knee in. Up, bring that knee in. So we're marching. What I want you to do is do again these very slow. Do not want anyone falling off of their vibration plate while we're doing very challenging balancing move but what it's doing is it's still continuing with the upper and lower abs we're adding that balance component to it which is an extra layer of challenge so if this isn't what you're signing up for today that's perfectly fine you can just um you don't have to lift your knees up per se you can just do, go like this or you can hold your weight here and just do your knees. I do feel like that's a little bit less challenging. Actually, I'll do that with you right now. We'll do it together for eight, seven, give those arms a break, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're ready for another little balance challenge bonus. So we're gonna take our right knee and we're going to pulse this weight and our knee at the same time. Might go bend that left knee for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can tap down and do it slower if you need to. Let's switch to the other side. Eight, like this, or you just tap, bring it up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Again, you can tap it if you want to. I'll tap it with you for this eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, we'll tap for this one. Eight, seven, six, we're slowing it down, we're almost done. Five, four, three, 
two, one. That was a good lower ab one. Now we're going to take this weight. We're going to finish out by bringing it around your body. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, you guys. So we can drop our weight. I'm just going to have you do a couple little stretches. So since we work our abs, we're going to do some cat cow stretches. So I'm going to have you put your hands on your knees. I'm going to have you roll up. And then breathe out, flatten that back, roll up, breathe out, flatten that back. It feels so good because this is good for the back and your abs. And it just feels really nice after you just work all that. So really enjoy this moment and breathe. You guys did awesome. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, share it out, and give me suggestions. I love your suggestions. Someone suggested this to me. And I absolutely loved it. So please keep them coming. You'll have a good day. Thank you for working out with me.